Hi everyone, Joe here from thekissprinciple.net. I'd like to show you the power of inversions and why that is so important to your piano playing. So let's have a look at the power of inversions. Why do you want to have the power of inversions under your hand? Well, let me show you. To go from a G chord down here up to a D, that's a considerable amount of movement for your hand, especially when you're playing fast rhythms, that sort of thing and even to the E minor. So from the E minor back down to the G, that's a lot of movement there. So there is an easier way of doing it, and that's what we call the inversion. So what's an inversion? Here's a G chord. We just simply take the bottom note of the G and play it up the top here. So that's your G note. And that's what we call, sorry, G chord. So that's G first inversion. We can also take the B and we can continue to move that up here as well. So there is um, G, second inversion. We can take the D and move it up to the top again. And there is your G chord root position. So instead of having the G here, it's now moved up to the top like that. So what's the advantages of it? Well, let's have a look. Here's G chord first inversion. Now, I can do the same thing with the other chords as well. This is a D chord in root position, but I can play a D chord like this. That is a D chord second inversion, because the A, if I move it up here, there's your D chord right there. So, instead of having to um, have your hands moving all over the place, having to go from a G to a D to an E minor to a C, you can go like this, G, D, E minor, and, and back to the C. Notice there is not much movement going on in my hand. Let me slow that down for you. There is a G chord, G chord first inversion, because I know that, that the G normally belongs down here. There is a D chord second inversion, because if I were to take this A, that's a D chord there in the root. And also E minor, that's an E minor second inversion because the B would normally be up here. So just having those inversions under your hand allows you to do so much because you hardly have to watch what your hand is doing. All you need to do is simply get used to the chord pattern position. So you've learnt where a G chord belongs it just takes a few more minutes just to get used to that a G chord can also be played like that instead of like that. A D chord can be played like that, but it can also be played like that and it can be played like that. E minor can be played this way or it can be played that way. So the power of inversions allows you to so much more ease of playing under your hands without having to think about your hand moving too much up and down the keyboard. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel and also like us on our Facebook page. God bless.